as directing principal. And here are the top 10 reasons why the class of 2015 is the best. Number 10, this class produced 20 super scholars. That's, that is the most of any high school in this city. Number nine, graduates in this class are going to college in record numbers from Harvard, Northwestern, West Point, to colleges in the Southwest and right here in New Mexico. Number eight, this class earned more than a half a million dollars in scholarships to attend these colleges. Scholarships, scholarships were earned through the Daniels, Davis, Simon, and Lanell, among others. Number seven, seniors helped Santa Fe achieve the college board's honor roll for making AP access to and success a priority, only one of three districts in the state. Number six, seniors earned more dual credit than ever, placing them in the pipeline to continue their education at the Santa Fe Community College, and thanks to President Grissom for our ever-expanding partnership. Number five, this is the largest avid graduating class ever with 38 seniors. Avid rocks. Number four, there are five Santa Fe High School seniors involved in the first ever citywide mentorship program. And we're grateful to the city for helping to spearhead the creation of this program. Number three, this class also excels in sports. From our 6A state champion cheerleading team, yeah. To our superstar athletes in track, softball, basketball, wrestling, cross country, diving teams who all made the trip to state this year. Number two, this class is dedicated to service to others. You've served Adelante, the Boys and Girls Club, the Life Skills students helped our kindred spirits, just to name a few. And you have great role models right here on campus like Mr. Charles. <laughs> Finally, number one, this class is one of the most diverse ever. You have such a wide, wide range of interests and passions, from the arts to career tech to ROTC to our foreign exchange students. Be very proud of who you are and what you have achieved. Whatever your path you may choose after graduation today, never, ever forget where you came from because together we are Santa Fe. Yeah. Next, I'd like to introduce our superintendent of schools, Dr. Joel Boyd. Dr. Boyd? Dr. Boyd is a Harvard-trained educator and school reformer who's been a classroom teacher, a principal, a central administrator. He was appointed superintendent of schools in 2012. He oversees the education of 14,000 students and leads a team of 2,000 employees. He holds a doctorate in education from Harvard University, a master's degree in education policy and management from Harvard, a master's degree in school leadership from Wilmington College, and a bachelor's degree in education from the University of Delaware. Here's Dr. Boyd. Congratulations, class of 2015. I know we can do better than that. Today is your day. It's your day to celebrate. Congratulations, class of 2015. Now, I know everyone here is simply waiting for Mr. Charles. 
so I'm not going to take too much time. But I've been here three years, and this is the largest graduating class that I've had the opportunity to address. I've learned as much from you as you've learned from me. Oscar, where are you? There you are, man. Oscar taught us all how to take advantage of an opportunity. He came to this country simply for the opportunity for an education. Now he's on his way to being an aerospace engineer. Congratulations, Oscar. Vito, I see you already, man. Vito came to Santa Fe High because he knew it was the best high school in the city. Vito is also a star basketball player, and unfortunately, we didn't have the opportunity to star on the varsity team your first year. But I watched you hold your head high. I watched you hold your head high, and you taught me how to deal with obstacles. Congratulations, Vito. Yeah. Isaiah Taylor, where are you? Yeah. Isaiah taught us all how to deal with adversity. Let's give him a round of applause. Yeah. Isaiah, look around you. This is your family. We're here for you every single day. Congratulations, Isaiah. Camille, where are you? Now this is a young lady after my own heart, going to Harvard University. Give her a round of applause. <laughs> Sabrina, Sabina, and Kayla, where are you? I wore this ring for you. Congratulations, my friends. Let's hear it one more time. We are, we are. Congratulations, class of 2015. Now it's my pleasure to introduce the distinguished guests here on the stage, members of our school board, Mrs. Linda Trujillo, <laughs> board vice president, Ms. Lorraine Price, who couldn't be with us today, Secretary, Ms. Susan Duncan. <laughs> member, Mr. Steve Carrillo. <laughs> and member, Ms. Maureen Cashman. I'd like to introduce our district administrators, Dr. Almi Abeta, Deputy Superintendent of Teaching and Learning. Mr. Carl Grundler, Deputy Superintendent of Business Operations. Ms. Latifa Phillips, Chief of Staff. Dr. James Lujan, Associate Superintendent of School Improvement and Social Justice. Christy Yonda Wagner, Executive Officer of Operations. Dr. Richard Bowman, Chief Accountability and Strategy Officer. And Mr. Gino Zamora, Chief Legal Counsel. Our school administrative team, Assistant, Principal, Assistant Principals, Mrs. Dolores Montano Pena. Mrs. Candace Harrison. Mr. Mark Moots, Mr. Zach Boatman, our Dean of Students, Mr. Stan Mascarenas. And with the Santa Fe High School faculty and staff, please stand now and be recognized. Thank you, staff. Next, I'd like to introduce our school board president, Linda Trujillo, to say a few words. She is currently state records administrator. She has an associate's in applied arts degree in early childhood education from Green River Community College, a bachelor of arts degree with a major in public administration from Evergreen State College, and a Juris Doctorate from Seattle University School of Law. She is married to Fabian Trujillo, has five children and three grandchildren. Welcome, Mrs. Trujillo.
Good morning, class of 2015. You did better for the superintendent. Come on, guys. Good morning, class of 2015. So on behalf of the Board of Education, I want to congratulate each and every one of you for your accomplishment of earning a high school diploma. We all understand that the journey was not easy. There are always challenges to accomplishing a goal, but you diligently overcame each and every challenge and earned the right to sit here today. This is an amazing accomplishment. In fact, 17% of the world population doesn't even have access to high school. And in some countries, students must pay for their own textbooks, which adds another barrier to education. You, even more than my generation, are part of this world community, a community in which you have we have instant access to people all over the world. Yesterday, I messaged my friend Aya in the Czech Republic to find out when her and her family are coming here to New Mexico to visit for the summer. Earlier this month, my daughter traveled to Australia, Bali, Singapore, and Hong Kong. And as a mother, we were able to text every day. <laughs> the world is yours to explore. Most colleges offer students an opportunity to study abroad. UNM has a global education office. In fact, they're hosting an, an abroad fair on September 3rd. And MSU also has an office of education abroad. While the world has become more connected, and there are many exciting career and travel opportunities, there are still serious world issues that we, the world collectively, need your help to solve. Specifically, we have not attained social justice for all. There are still third world communities that don't have access to basic necessities like food and clean water. The World Bank reports that one seventh of the world's population lives on less than $1.25 a day. Last year, Forbes magazine reported that the 85 richest people in the world have as much wealth as 3.5 billion of the poorest. In our country, we continue to have social injustice in the form of discrimination and income equality. The most insidious form of discrimination is the mass incarceration of African and Hispanic men. In 2008, African American and Hispanics comprom comprised 58% of all prisoners and yet only account for approximately one quarter of the U.S. population. According to the International Center for Prison Studies, the U.S. tops every other nation in the world. The NAACP reports that while the U.S. is one-fifth of the world population, we have 25% of the world's prisoners. Activist Marianne Wright Edelman calls it an American apartheid. While you may think these problems are too big for you, and it would be far easier to stay as far away as possible, I encourage you to be part of the solution. Just this week, First Lady Michelle Obama urged a group of graduates, like yourself, to actively seek out the most contentious, the most polarized, the most gridlocked places, because throughout our history, those are the, where the minds are changed, lives are transformed, and our great American story unfolds. Today you can relax and enjoy the moment, celebrate with your family and friends, these are the memories that will last a lifetime. Tomorrow, I challenge you to get involved. Find your passion. Be the voice of social justice. Help reduce income equality. Volunteer your time in a preschool or a nursing home. Make a commitment to clean up and protect the environment. Most important, register to vote. And vote. Don't just register, go and vote. When you don't vote, you surrender your rights to those who do, and you silence your voice. I realize you've been listening to lectures for the last four years, and you just want to walk across this stage and get your diploma. <laughs> Oh, 
if I didn't believe that you could make a difference, I wouldn't share this information with you on this very special day. But I believe in you. I watched many of you stand up for your school and community. Some of you have spoken out at board meetings. Some of you have written letters to the editor and others have taken to the street and protested. I still believe an ant can move a rubber tree plant. I've seen it happen and so have you. You are the future. Before I end this, I would like you to just stand up, face your parents and the community, and thank them for all that they've done to help you. Thank you parents and community members for supporting our students. So I leave you with the inspirational words of the former First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. God bless each and every one of you. Congratulations class of 2015. President Trujillo. Now it's my honor to introduce our keynote speaker, Charles McIntyre. A teacher.